Welcome! Today we're going to be going over the Room Combiner component in the Qstis Designer software. Now, the Room Combiner really comes in handy when you have an audio signal that needs to be combined or separated depending on how you have your air walls configured. First, we're going to start off in our schematic library and under Audio Components, we're going to drag a Room Combiner into our schematic. Now, you'll notice by default, uh, we have eight rooms, which means that we have eight input pins and eight output pins. We can control the number of rooms over here depending on what your installation is. We can also change the fields channel from mono to stereo, um, which will give us two pins for each input channel. The wall fields lets us input the number of adjustable walls that open and close in your venue. And you can also have uh, channels for background music inputs. For this example, we're going to have four rooms, four walls, we're going to do mono channels, and we're going to do two channels of background input. Now when we double click the room combiner component, we'll see its control panel. Let's move this over. The input section lets us control the input gain for each of the rooms. The background music section, or BGM, lets us control the gain for each room's background music. It'll also let us select the channels of music to apply to each room. As you'll note, we've got our two background channels here. In the output section, we can control the combined gain of each room or mute it entirely. This LED above each gain fader indicates which room, if any, that it's linked to. We'll come back to that in a minute. Finally, in the wall section, we can see controls that let us open and close any wall to combine the rooms. Now, these numbers right here really don't mean a whole lot because we don't have a floor plan to apply them to. Let's create a floor plan. Let's say that our banquet hall is a large square, and it has accordion-style dividers that can split the room in half in either direction, making four equally sized smaller squares. We can create this space in the schematic to help us visualize it, and then later we can use that for our user control interface. Okay, we're going to come over here to our graphics tools, select the polygon creator, so we can start building representations of our rooms. Now, remember as I said, my room is a large banquet hall, so I'm going to copy and paste this into four equal sizes. When you're building your rooms though, it's a good idea to make the sizes, um, represent the sizes of the rooms that you actually have. So now that we have our four rooms, all we need to do is label them. This is room one, room two, room three, room four. And you're just double clicking that so that you can label that. All right, so our room looks pretty good, but right now it's not doing anything because it's not linked to our room combiner. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some walls by using some controls to create like a really intuitive system design. So right now, let's open up our control panel of our room combiner and drag an open one wall into our schematic and kind of size it using the blue bounding boxes and scoot it over with my arrow keys. Now that's going to represent the wall in between room one and room two. And you're going to do the same thing for room two and room three. You're going to come over here, drag your button, size it appropriately so that it represents the wall in between room two and room three. I'm going to do the same thing for room three and four. That's about right. And between room one and room four. So now we have our four rooms and our four walls. So now that we've labeled our rooms, let's go ahead and label our walls just for the sake of not getting confused. That's going to be wall one, it's going to be wall two, it's going to be wall three, and that's going to be wall four. This will really come in handy when we're configuring the, uh, the actual module. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that by entering emulation mode. And we come down here the, to the config. Uh, field. If we hover over this, it says wall one configure. So that refers to this wall right here. So this wall right here is separating room one and room two. So we're going to come down here and type one space two. Make sure to put that space in there. It's really important. Um, so what we have here is room one is separated by a wall and room two. 
Um, you're basically going to do the same thing for wall two, which is this one. So that's room two and room three. So we're going to come over here and type two space three. Same thing for over here, three space four, and that's this wall. And wall four is one and four, so we're going to go four space one. And if we open up wall one by clicking on it, we get two red LEDs, um, which signify that room one and room two are now sharing the same audio signal. We do the same thing with wall three, which separates room three and four. We get two green LEDs, which means that room three and four are now sharing the same audio signal. But room one and room four, two separate audio signals, so there's two separate colors. Now, if the sake of argument, uh, if we click on wall two, we should get all reds, which means that one, two, three, and four are now sharing a same audio signal. So we're at a good stopping point now. If you need to take a break, go for it. If not, continue on to the next section.